Hey guys, it's our first night in Taipei. We're here at Ximending and we're gonna go out, grab some dinner, and hit up a night market. Had no idea there would be a Hello Kitty themed 7 Eleven right outside our hotel. It's also 20 degrees in Taipei, which is much cooler than other towns. Stay cute. It's just like any other 7 Eleven, only super Sanrio coated. Wanted to start our trip with some Taiwanese milkfish. This one looked really good on Google Maps. They even have like a Luru fawn with oysters. Should be good. So we wanted to do a quick room tour before we head out. Oh, it's a comfy king size bed. I also appreciate that there are a lot of hooks so you can hang all your clothes and bags. It's also our first time staying in the Ximending area, which is a more popular touristy place. We don't usually hang out in this area when we're in Taipei, but it should be a nice change of pace since it's on the way to the restaurant we want to eat at anyway. Already there's like a little night market area as soon as you get into Ximending. I don't know what's happening, they're like sort of... All of a sudden all the carts that were here are super rushing to get out. I wonder why. Foil egg snack. Mm. Appetizer. It's pretty chaotic out here, as you can see. Just trying to find our way to the restaurant. So I ordered an oyster omelette, two oyster luru fun rice, and two milk fish, and everything costs 680 NTD. That was so quick. It's the first time I've ever seen a luru fun mixed with oysters. Ah, oh, it looks so good. Who these oysters? We knew oysters and pork would go well together. Ooh, look at that. Compared to the Lurufan that we had in Taichung and Kaohsiung, this seems to be a lot fattier. It's like a softer pork meat. Mm. Wow. So good. So soft and creamy. Thank you. Unlike the Bungo Manila, which is usually marinated, here they serve it with lime and pepper. A lovely oyster cake with a lot of crisp edges. The inside of the omelette is so soft and moist. There's a super crispy edge to it. Mm. So soft and crispy. So the oyster looks like it's filled with cabbage. Let's try this. Mm. Wow. 
the omelet itself is super gooey inside. There's like a starchy texture to it. So gooey and so satisfying. We just finished having dinner and I think we're just gonna walk off what we ate here in Shiminding. How does John Dobb do it? So cool. Perfectly framed. Found ourselves at a heritage building called the Red House, which was built in 1908. But now it's full of bars and restaurants. Having just traveled from the south of Taiwan, you can feel how much more of a night city Taipei is. So according to this, this is the first government-built public market in Taiwan. For the last night market on our trip, we're visiting the Rauha Night Market. As soon as you enter, the first stall you see is a classic pork bun stall. It's been a few years since we visited, so might as well check it out. There's always a line, but it moves really fast. Oh shit. You can still see the steam coming off of it. Let's try this. Mmm. It's a lot better than I remember. Very flavorful. A lot of spices in there. Ooh, first try. Mm. I should mention that we got here as soon as the market opened at 5 p.m. There's actually barely any people here. So if you don't like crowds, it's a pretty good time to go. 
so this is their version of the potato ball, but this one has salted egg and floss in it. Mm. Hot taro. Oh yeah, I forgot it's a taro. With um, salted egg? And hot floss, I think. You can actually repeat this. 30 NTD for one piece. <laughs> Ralph has found another sausage stall. This one. Thirty. Okay. Tastes like a sweet longanisa. Pretty good. Peppery, juicy. Probably full of preservatives, but here we are. Since it's so early, a lot of the stalls are just arriving and setting up. So this is a boneless crispy spare rib. Mm. Really nice crispy fry. one of the popular stinky tofu stalls at the market. You really smell it as soon as you approach it. That was a quick one. I don't know if it's because we're super early, but the market is really tame. It's a lot smaller than it was the last time we were here. We're already back at the entrance. Still a good experience. I like the way that they lay everything out. You can clearly see everything. Most of them are laid out on the floor. This shop looks really cute. Check it out. I wonder if there's like a guy section. So far it seems to be mostly women's wear.
fourths owl that you can use as a scarf. 